In a recent Golf Week interview, Shambly said that Matt Wolf's swing is sustainable and that swings that are funky last the longest and are the most consistent. However, science matters. Otherwise, it's just like saying that malaria medication can cure COVID-19. It may or it may not, but it needs a lot of testing in first safety and then efficacy to say such things. According to Shambly, a free swing is better than a restricted one. In scientific terms, more joints have been moved through greater ranges of motion in more planes of motion. So, they all have to unbend and untwist to return the club to impact in the mere one-third of a second which any golf downswing lasts. The more movements in the backswing, the less precise one can be. Under pressure, we know that muscles contract faster and more forcefully, so this golfer might lift the lead heel more or move the arms higher. Imagine, for instance, how much the trail elbow's position in space could vary from the top of backswing to impact. As the trail arm is raised higher in this very up and down movement, it might result in a much lower drop down of the entire trail side of the body as there is variability involved in the brain's control of all these muscles. When the trail upper arm is raised so much, it stretches the trail side lats and pecs muscles which are then primed to contract more forcefully, making them rotate rapidly inwards and towards the center of the body. And that makes the shoulder blade move forward into protraction and rounds up the upper spine a lot. This reduces the physical space between the trail shoulder and wrist and makes the straightening of the trail elbow and wrist very timing dependent and thus subjects impact and ball flight to a lot of inconsistency. The Wolf model is not suitable for most golfers and not to be copied from an efficacy standpoint, nor from a safety perspective, but that's a story for another day. For details of this and other swing analyses, contact me at www.yourgolfguru.com.